hello everyone welcome back to api coder today we have got something really exciting to dive into we'll be creating a real-time chat application using tornado a python free framework but before we get started make sure to hit that subscribe button and the ring the notification bell so you never miss an update from us here is a quick overview of what we will cover in this video introduction to tornado and a real-time chat concept setting up our python environment writing the server side code using tornado creating a simple html interface for the chat testing the chat application in the section a quick wrap up and what's the next introduction to tornado and a real-time chat tornado is a powerful python web framework and today we choose it to build a real-time chat application Real-time chat application allow users to send and receive messages instantly, just like a popular messaging apps. It is a great way to learn about web sockets and asynchronous programming in the Python. Setting up Python environment. Before we start, make sure you have a Python and Tornado installed. If you don't have yet, check the description below for installation links and resources. So if you want to just install the Tornado, so you, you can just install using pip so what i will do i'll just go in our terminal and i'll just install the tornado using pip command pip install tornado sorry pip install pip install tornado and hit the enter so my requirement is already certified because already have downloaded this uh, this version is on, already installed in my system So using pip you can install Dynado. Now let's dive into a writing the server Side code we will create a web socket handler to manage the correction and message broadcasting. Okay And now we will write the Python server code logic the tornado So let's go to the Python file here. I have created a chat.py file, so you can just create a Python file from here. You can just create this is the new file and this is the uh, folder. So you can just create a folder from here and the file from here. So already I have just created a chat.py file. So now what I will do, I will just import tornado.io loops. Okay, I'll just import tornado.io loops tornado.io lib so i'm just going to explain about the tornado.io loops what is the function do tornadoes that io events loop which is manage the non-blocking operations okay this manages the non-blocking function tornado.io.loops manage the non-blocking operation now i'll just import tornado.web so i have just import tornado.web Tornado.web provides a tool for handling HTTP request and creating a web application. Okay, it's just creating a web application. And now I'll just import Tornado.WebSocket. Tornado.WebSocket. Tornado.WebSocket allow WebSocket communication and essential for real-time chat. Okay. Real-time. This is very essential for real-time real -time chat. And now I'll just write, I'll just create a client list i will just create a variable so by this i just is to so that i could connect the client list so this is the client list okay this is the client list this is this list is used to store connected websocket client it gives track of all the clients so that messages can be broadcast to all connected user okay and now i'll just import chat handler class this is the chat handler class okay this is the chat handler class this class is a web socket handler that means define how the server should handle the web sockets connection and key method include open dot self okay and this method is also called a when a new web socket connection is established it's append the current web socket instance this is the def on masses on masses self masses okay this message this uh, this method is called a message is received from a web socket client 
for client in a class client dot write dot message and the phone close and the client removes class main header class main header tornado dot web class request tornado that application with the routing websocket dot instant from the client list on close class the required handler class instant the client list and this is the class the request handler used for handling HTTP request is the HTML page you can see that class dot main main handler dot web request dot handler def gets us and save dot render HTML pages this class is a request handler used for handling HTTP request it serves a HTML page when the user access the root URL slash okay in this case in this case it's render the uh, render the index.html page which provide the chat interface okay now application tornado application tornado dot web application an instant of tornado dot web application is created to manage the different request handler in this code here are two routes defined okay here are the two routes defined r and r dot chat r main handler you can see that r slash main handler r slash main handler this route handle http request to the root url and serve as a html page for the chat interface and r dot chat this route handle websocket connection for the chat and when the websocket connection is made to chat it is use the chat handler to manage the connection okay and now we will just write if name if name equal equal main okay if name equal equal main dot block this block this block ensure that ensure that the server only runs its script is executed directly not imported as a module application dot listen you can see that i have just uh, written a uh, grid application dot listen it means application listen on 8080 port okay it is specific that a server should listen on the port 8080 for time 8080 port you can change this port you can we can just change this pro to your preferred value okay now we'll just write tornado dot io dot loop tornado dot io dot loop dot current dot start now let's see that what the function and how this is working behind this this is start a tornado dot io event loop allow the server to run the handle incoming websocket connection and stpt request and the code essentially set up the tornado web servers with the websocket support handle real-time chat and when a client connects to the chat websocket the route the chat handler class manage the connection and allow for the exchange of messages between connect connected clients the main handler class serve the html pages that the user can access to use the chat application now we'll just we'll be creating a html pages to interact with our chat application we will need a simple html interface we prepared uh, we prepared you can see that i have just already created an index.html so we have prepared an html file this is the cs don't care about cs you all will be provided in the description so this is the html so html file that you can use you can find the link in the description below okay you can find the html code link in the description with the server html interface in the place it's time to test our application so let's test our application okay we will run the tornado servers and open our HTML interface in a web browser to see an action. So now it is the time to test the web application. I'll just run this simply. What I will do, I'll just I will just go in a terminal. I will type Python ls Python 
sorry my python file name is chat.py chat.py file and hit the enter button python can't open chat.py why what is the reason that python can't open let's run directly from here so the server is running so i'll just go you know chrome and i will just refresh it so guys you can see that the server is running on local host 8080 four time 8080 and now we will just test the message and write simply how safe when will you pay this is a simple message and now i will just test the user that this is working or not the this message is going to another user or not so i'll just just go um in kignoto window and local host local host call on 8080 and i'll just maximize it also to this and i'll just make it shorter as it will take time so i will just say here simply i will just say hi asif what are you doing if i just this, click the send button you can see that the user is receiving the messages and i will just reply nothing bro nothing bro and i'll just send the message function. so you can see that the both user are receiving each message on the real time okay this is the real time application they are just getting the user is getting the message on a real time and whatever you will just enter send so you can see the demo and you can say demo 2 in this side demo 2 you can see the receiver is receiving messages So this application is a real time sending or receiving uh, messages in multiple browsers. So you can see this is the multiple browser. I have just opened this in a in Gignoto mode. And that's and that's it. We have successfully created a real time chat application using Turnado. This is just a beginning as you can expand and improve the project many ways. From the user authentication to database integration and the possibilities are endless. In our next video, we will explore more advanced features and improvement you can make to this chat application. Stay tuned for more exciting Python and web development tutorials. Don't forget to like these videos and leave any question or comment down below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.